Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of our Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles tutorial guide. You're here with Ben with BJ and Co., and we are going to knock our way through more of the quests that we've been working on. Uh, last time we were working a bit more into this quest line. Uh, I believe we got some steam dynamos going and everything. So today we're going to hit some areas in here, get this mechanical artisan so we can start. Um, automating a little bit of stuff which is going to be very nice some motors some the comic reconstructor but first things first we were playing in Batania a little bit last time and i want to continue on that now so we had gotten our hydrangeas and our mana pool so we're going to start with the mana spreader next and this one needs a little bit of a little bit of work to get so we showed you guys before how to get the living wood using the pure daisies so we've got that bricks we've got from some quest rewards before not too hard to get our hands on um, if you need some more, it's just smelting up clay to make the bricks themselves and go from there. Oh, I messed things up. <laughs> Gold plates, silicone plates. We've got the compactor now, so those should be relatively easy. The only new thing that we're dealing with here is our lime laser. And a lime laser is not too crazy. Iron around a lime stained glass, and lime stained glass is just six pieces of lime glass, and lime glass is. Oh, why is it not? Well, all it, all it is is lime dye, um, some sort of lime dye around in the middle with glass around the outside, and lime is pretty easy. You either need lime petals or we can um, get it using a few different, few different setups, um, green dye, bone meal, white dye, white pigments. I used um, the two floral dyes together. Um, just because I didn't have any lime green, so to make the uh, the lime dye itself. So that's not too hard, but we've got everything going here, ready to go for this. And this is advanced crafting, so we're gonna need this guy in the middle. These around the outside. The living wood all the way around. And it's 16 living wood, so it works out kind of nicely having two pure daisies to make that happen. And this gets us our mana spreader. And now this mana spreader is gonna be very helpful to us because Let's get my wand of the forest back out. This is going to allow us to actually start utilizing. Uh, I might not have left it. Did I leave it in here? This uh, hydrangeas that we got last time. So I believe, I believe we can stick it. Let's try sticking it right here. And now we're going to put down a mana spreader. And with the mana spreader down, you can see it's kind of blasting a, a laser out. That's where it's sending mana. But I'm going to. Um, shift right click to change it to buy or so make sure that it's on bind mode by shift right clicking and then you can right click on this right click on this no nope. oh yeah shift right click to grab it shift right click there and then it aims it at that and now it should start generating flora for us ah except you can see that this is not connected to a spreader yet so now we're gonna right click on this plant or shift right click on this plant, shift right click on this, and now you can see that this is going to be moving mana into there. So this is going to be moving mana into here, and then this is going to be shooting mana into here. Now this should work with this setup, I think. We're going to leave it for a bit and see what's going on. Um, the hydrogenous should be getting water from the source blocks nearby though I may have to drop it a level to make it work that's the one thing I'm not entirely certain about so we're gonna let it play for a bit and see from there so while we're while we're waiting on that let's get a little bit more going with Batania so in the Batania oh, I guess we can we can claim this copper tank this will be nice um, we'll use it for some other quests going along so that's always nice a little bit more living wood also is great and then we've kind of got two other paths that we can easily go right now. Um, we've got the Endo Flame, which is our next generating flora. And this one is, will actually burn things to make us the um, mana that we're looking for. So we can, we can actually tie that to our spreader from the other one as well. So this is going to work out quite nicely. And we are going to jump back on into here. So this one, not too crazy to make. We need prosperity shards. We know how to get these. Inferium coal and a block of Inferium essence. Both of these we should have from quest rewards already. But the block of Inferium is just Inferium um, all the way around. And Inferium coal is just coal with two Inferium. 
Um, so not crazy to make at all. This is all going to be done in the Petal Apothecary, and then we need light gray, red, and brown. So we've got light gray, red, brown, seeds, prosperity, inferium coal, block of inferium essence. I'm pretty sure that was block of inferium essence, not inferium coal, right? Yes. Good. Uh, and then we're going to need a set of seeds, which we grabbed as well to make this happen because you gotta you got to have the seeds to do it. So we're going to put our water in. We are going to go with all of these things. So we'll start with these. We're going to start... Oh, why didn't you go in properly? Oh, no, it did. We're going to throw those guys in. Now we are going to get the last three pieces that we need. Two three and there we go it shows that we need seeds to get that and we've got our endo flame so this is another one that we can drop over here the spreader oh yeah i think that's not quite working properly but if i drop the endo flame here i should be able to shift right click shift right click so it's sending that one this guy's also sending that one we've got nothing in there yet and Let's just go get something that burns a little bit. Let's see, what do we got? Maybe maybe we'll go with... Oh, I should I should have a block. I should have some Inferium over here, shouldn't I? We've got an Inferium Coal. I'll go take that out. So this Inferium Coal, if we send this over... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything off of that blue one. So as soon as I drop that in there, give it a few seconds. You can see the Endo Flame grabs it. It gets that... Uh, lovely fire along it and you can see that our spreader now is gaining you can see it gaining some mana and shooting it every so often and our mana pool is starting to fill up so perfect we have got mana generation down pat i will play a little bit off to get the hydrangeas going to make sure that we are uh getting everything that we need there finding out how that one works in particular because we're going to need a lot of mana me thinks to get mana steel and all other sorts of good stuff that we need so we've got the endo flame we're going to grab this nothing too crazy here the blue petal block's kind of nice that's a bunch of light blue petals for us um next is the mana stars the last thing we're going to do this isn't um super necessary right off the bat but it's kind of nice to show for later on if mana pools are gaining more or losing more it can help you balance things out so the mana star not too crazy to make we just need four petals in the um Cool. So I'm going to go fill us up on a little bit more water because always need the water on this. And I'm being lazy. Geez, something keeps... Oh, I should do this. I really got to fence my farm off because it's getting a little ridiculous with everything eating my stuff. But that's a tomorrow problem. Not for today. Oh. So here we go, we got our four pieces, we throw the seeds in, and we have our mana star. And like it says in the quest book, this you can just place by a pool. And then the pool itself will start to gain colors, and I believe it says um, it will go blue if it's gaining, red if it's not gaining. So there we go. And you can see the endo flame has already been used up as well. So we've got some mana in our mana pool, but we do not have any more around. So there we go. We have knocked out quite a decent amount. I like how we get silicon and silver. Kind of a, a cheap way for us to get a little bit more resources that we're going to be needing. And then we've got more that we can work our way towards. Ooh, Twilight Forest. That could be fun. Functional flowers, mana steel, mages workshop. Lots of cool stuff to come here, guys. But that's where we're going to leave it off in there. Mystical agriculture, we've got a ways to go until um, we can start getting the pieces we need for the solarium. Again here, we need some mana steel or nickel, which are both a little hard to get, which is why I want to get Batania going so we can get some mana steel in the bag. So that we are not too worried about right now. Blacksmith's workshop, again, nothing too crazy that we're going to tackle until we get steel. So on to the main part that we're going to look at tonight. Tonight, today. Spoiler, now you know I'm recording it at night. Ha uh ha. -huh. Actually, right before our live stream. If you guys want to catch them, Tuesday nights, Saturday nights, that's when the live streams are. You have to guess which night I'm recording this on, though. Ha 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 ha. So, first things first, guys, let's make ourselves some motors. Because we're motoring. So, motors, we need gold gears, we need redstone, we need copper coils, and we need stone. So, gold gear is going to be easy. 
copper coil. This is the little bit more involved one. So let's make some copper coils. So our copper coils, wow, God, my keyboard's annoying. It double taps the, um, the C button all the time. So it definitely makes it a little interesting for me to try to do things. So copper coil, we've got one, we've got two. And then with our gold bars, we need to make our gear, which is really simple and easy to make. And then we need what gear in the middle, those on the top, that along the side, and then our stone, and that gets us a motor. And we get another copper coil. So obviously copper coils we're gonna be using a little bit of. Might be something that we're gonna to have to do with the artisan. Saw blades will be coming. Oh, we can do this, can't we? Six and one, six and one. Do I have extra copper? I'm gonna give myself extra copper just in case. We can do this. I like it when I get to knock out more than I was expecting in the first place. Boom, there we go, saw blade. So as you can guess, these pieces are likely gonna become important for, oh, I need to make two of them. Shh, you saw nothing, you saw nothing. Here we go, and this is good. So we, what we're doing right now, guys, is we're making components that we're gonna need in some future, um, come on, text submit, future pieces. Again, we're getting another, another saw blade, so you can tell that we're gonna need these. Um, I believe we need these for the pulverizer but we won't get there quite yet. So that one is all knocked out and done. Let's take a look next at, at the Atomic Reconstructor. Uh, I'm gonna just pull this one up really quickly. And the Atomic Reconstructor is handy. It is an advanced crafting, so we need batteries, we need silicon plates, we need bronze plates, we need iron plates, relatively easy to make, redstone. We went over the battery and the basic control circuits last time, so those shouldn't be too crazy. Red alloy gear, it is for red alloy and a tin or copper. Red alloy, again, is redstone. Uh, I guess it's not perfect, sorry. Here, the red iron icon, redstone around this. Um, we can get it a little bit cheaper later on, but that's the easy one for now. And then the weird one is the lens here, the clear lens, nothing too crazy though. It's just something we haven't seen yet, and this just takes seven glass in a nice little eight-shape pattern. So, with all those pieces, why do I feel like I'm missing things? Oh, because I stuck my lens in the wrong spot. Uh, there we go. So first things first, let's make this lens. Why do I only have five? Where's the rest? Of, there's the rest that I need. I'm like, I know I prepped myself for this, but I got distracted the other night. Uh, I'll throw that on. I will pick that up before things get going. So the atomic reconstructor, we should have all the pieces now. We have it. And the atomic reconstructor is a fun tool because this one allows you to... Um, change all sorts of stuff so we'll, we'll be looking at this next time but we can change lapis into palace redstone into redstonia iron into anori diamonds into diamondites um, which are all pieces that we will need for some later um, things we've got a leaf eating generator coming up that could be cool we've got a crusher crushers are always fun they help uh, help duplicate stuff more working towards canola storage crates all sorts of good stuff here so this is this is one i quite like and in here i think we're going to go with the copper coils. Those are definitely more expensive than the Inori plates. These are This is just two iron and some power, so that's not too crazy. Um, the atomic reconstructor, you will want a switch or a button with. I quite like buttons, personally, because um, it's just a one-quick pulse and doesn't drain all the power all at once. Uh, but it does need to be connected to power, so you'll want to connect it by your energy cell for now until we get better power going on. So that one's done. And then I think the last piece we're going to tackle is the rest of this mechanical artisan piece. And the mechanical artisans, we have two things left that we need to do. We need to make the actual power converter, um, which will allow us to do some stuff, which is five glass, basic control, and battery, which we did last episode, and then the copper plates. So we should have that all ready to go. And that's just in this one. So artisan... There we go, we'll get that guy done. And then the last piece that we need here should just be all of this. And this is to make that blueprint. So we need this, we need, I wanna see this in the corners and this around the middle. And there we go, we got our IC4 blueprint. And the blueprint itself is what we need to make the blank design pattern. And with that, doo -ding, we should unlock our automated artisan. Some great information here on how this works, how we need the design table and the blank patterns and the power converters. Um, 
the so we should be able to put this down where is it oh i did put it down already we should be able to put this guy down already between here and we should be able to put a pattern into here make what we want and then grab the pattern and then use the design workshop to do it however we do need to get some power going for it which is why there is the power converter and where did i leave the other piece uh, uh why am i so useless guys why tell me down in the comments below why you think i'm completely useless don't go too hard at it savvy Ooh, we're gonna go to sleep really quick see you in a few seconds guys I don't need to mess with too many monsters. It's not that I'm afraid of no ghosts. It's just that it's not, uh, as much as you guys probably would like to see me die in front of you, I don't think it's exactly what I should be doing. Just say, wow, I like how I left the door wide open. One of those sounds outside. So there's two pieces to this. We'll get back to that as we, as we listen to things die around us. We've got the artisan power convertible and the mechanical artisan. And I think, oh, I wonder where this goes then. So this will allow us, I bet, uh, to grab the power. Nice shot, you dipshit. There we go. So then the mechanical artisan can go on top of that guy. Interesting. This is... I'm going to have to look at what this guy does. I've never seen this before, but we've got some room for RF. Looks like we've got five different tabs for different, like, making blueprints and storing things and fluids. So we will definitely, definitely have to play with this and see. The power converter, I'm sure. Okay, there's just that up there. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can grab, if we just grab this guy, just as a test, I think we can drop this guy right in beneath here, and you can see it is taking the power into the power converter and filling up the mechanical artisan. So that's ready to go. Now we just have to see how this all combines, but we've got the pieces that we need to do it. We get a few more blank plate or blank patterns too, which is great. And now we get the how-to. So I'm gonna learn how this stuff goes get organized for it and teach you guys how to start automating some of that in the next episode as well as start knocking out some more of this level one um as you can see we still need to work in both of these areas backpacks i like backpacks this is going to be great more 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 storage space we're going to work our way on try to work towards unlocking tier two then we might be what halfway well i guess if we finish if we finish tier two we're about halfway to tier five but funny enough, I feel like we're a lot further away from that than almost halfway. But we'll see. I, th I feel like things are going to get longer and longer. Maybe it's just more grinding time. We will see. But appreciate you guys all being here. If you have found this helpful, if you want to support the channel, hit that like button so it lets us know that you guys are enjoying the content. If you do have any questions, let us know down in the comments below. We'd be happy to talk to you guys and uh, help you along on your journey. Uh, if you want to be notified when anything goes live, hit that subscribe button just underneath the video and uh, make sure you hit that little notification too and you'll make sure you get notified when everything gets live. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord. Link's down in the description below. We'd love to hang out with all you guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye.